In today's video, we have just been looking at the installation process for the ICS 7 kilowatt EV charger. So in terms of this charger, it's a good option for the consumer because it has a lot of safety, safety devices in there. So the level of protection offered by this ICS charger is quite good. And obviously for the installer themselves as well, it gives them a good option um, in terms of different scenarios or where they could install this charger. This actual charging unit itself is a seven kilowatt version. So it's uh, maximum rating is up to 32 amps. It has uh, an inbuilt in RDC DD, which is six milliamp rating. Um, so it gives that extra protection there as well for the DC side of things. There's a few things there in terms of installation that need to be checked and need to be followed. Um, but from an installation point as well, it does have a lot of key benefits. So as we look further into the charger and how we install it, you'll be able to see by looking through the video, the different points of installing the back plate and what benefit that offers to the customer as well as obviously to the installer as well. So the customer could pick an ICS product and the installer could go out. They could install the back plate and configure all the wiring, install that kind of, of setup. And if a customer wants to change their mind or they've not quite yet fully decided on that type of charge unit they want to have. So it could be down to aesthetics or just the choice in, in the vehicle that they're getting. They have the option then to pick the correct charger of what's needed and then that can be put on at a later date and commissioned as well. So it just gives that bit of flexibility and allows um, just the installation process to be a lot better for the installer and benefits the customer as well where needed. So what we're going to do, we're going to have a, a closer look at the back plate and just see what's going on inside there because a lot of the key components are located in the actual charger unit itself. But from an installation point of view, if you're just going to first fix, um, you can put that in do all your part you can even second fix parts and, and test and leave the additional cover that can be uh, purchased separately and put that on at a later date as well um, just to make things a lot better so we'll have a closer look and we'll see what's going on inside the charger okay so once you have removed the actual charging unit itself you can see the back plate that we've installed previously obviously in this setup this is just a mocked up dead rig in the workshop but you can see from an installer's point of view the actual charge unit itself just mounts clearly onto this unit here so in terms of installation wise you can bring your supply cable into the charger through various different points it can either be um, entry from below or you can do rear entry as shown on the diagrams and it also has the pre-drilled out areas to bring the cables into so once that cable is brought in obviously there's various points there's the clamp to clamp onto the cable and then obviously the connection points this actual charger can be installed in either single ray or it can also be installed as a three phase system as well so you can have single phase or you can have three phase setups and all you need to do is follow the the wiring diagrams given in the actual manufacturing instructions and it gives you clear indications across the top and underneath of where those conductors need to be terminated it is recommended as well obviously we've just put these in just to show you a clear indication of the uh, wiring configuration for it but it is recommended by the manufacturer that all connections do have uh, cream 10 so use these little ferrules you put those on and you will terminate all connections securely into the charging connections and making sure that you also talk, talk these terminations up to the required torque setting once that is done and all connections have been checked you would obviously go through all the inspection and testing procedures ensuring everything complies with the current bs 7671 18th edition wiring regulations once that is done and you're happy with everything on that, you've got two options. You can either install the actual charge unit itself. If obviously this hasn't been um, put together or the customer's not actually um, chose the actual charge unit or for, for whatever reason you don't have this, you do have the option to fit a cover plate over the top. That plate obviously covers everything up here and it is bolted with a security screw at the bottom so it's nice and secure and what that allows you to actually do is install the actual back plate all the wiring to it so everything's already pre-installed and then the charger itself can be installed at a later date and commissioned as needed 
So just to summarise, this ICS 7 kilowatt EV charger, it's presented nicely in this black finish and aesthetically pleasing. ICS do offer a range of different charging fronts and this makes it a good option for installers out there because they can install the back plate for the charger, do all the wiring configuration and install that part of the install in, in a reasonable time and it also gives the customer the option to pick a charger unit and have that installed at a later date if they choose to and it also gives a, a good point in terms of protection for the consumer as this charger has inbuilt open pen detection as well as DC 6 milliamp protection as well so there's a lot of things in this charger that is beneficial for the customer it also does have many benefits in data connection including cellular so there's a lot of options there to allow the customer ease of use and you'll see in upcoming videos just how that works and the commissioning side um, for this type of charger thanks for watching if you like this video please hit the like button and subscribe and if you've got any comments or would like to know anything else about this charger please pop those comments below thanks for watching take care